Two reenactors, Jeremy and Z, walk through the deep, dark countryside. They've been searching for hours to find this old haunted house down the road. Incoming, they went. And they walked through woods. Miles of woods. Waiting to see this house. They knew it was somewhere in the Louisiana Bayou. But they kept trudging on and on and on. So, once they finally got there, they came to an old gate. It took them into an old cemetery. They started reading the graves and realized that the whole graveyard belonged to one big giant family. As they read the graves, they walked and talked about the people who probably lived in this area. Found out that they were one of the wealthy families in, in Louisiana at the time. Then they saw an old slave graveyard and they thought this must be where the servants were kept. Where's this house, said Steve, Jeremy said, back there on the left-hand side of the woods. They turned and saw an old, decrepit mansion where the family must have lived. They walked up to the house and said, I'll go first. They knocked. The door opened on its own. As the door opened, they walked in, and they saw in the parlor a fireplace, couches, pictures. They started ghost hunting, asking, were there any ghosts here? They got some responses, saw some apparitions, thought real quick they weren't supposed to be here. So they started to find a way out. Instead, Steve wanted to check out the house. He decided he was going to look in the, the library. He looked at the library and read some books. He thought this man must have been rich. The family was very wealthy. And they looked at their china and found out that, that this, this must have been where they ate their dinner. Next thing you know, he saw a ghost walk into the kitchen. And he followed the spirit of a maid into the kitchen. He found nothing there but footsteps, heard some voices, and he heard the word, get out. So instead of getting out, he went down to the basement. It was an ordinary basement. Then he heard a scream from... His friend walked up to the bedroom, saw his friend in the bedroom, hiding. They both found a way into the attic. So then they found a way out of the attic and ran through the fields. As they ran through the fields, they found the sounds and heard the sounds of a Civil War battle taking place. They thought, crap, we should have never left our campsite. Well, as they continued, they heard sounds getting louder and louder and louder and louder. Finally, they disappeared into the woods, but they still seen that the battle was following them. Once they got back to town, they decided they weren't going to tell, tell their reenacting buddies what they saw. But they knew that they were never going to go back to the house on Bio Road again. Once they found out, it was discovered that a long civil war battle took place, and the family starved to death because the Union Army dislodged, robbed them of their savings and money and food. They all died of sickness, and to this day, ghosts, the children, the soldiers, and the family themselves are said to haunt the house. The gentleman never returned to the house again. And they now know not to walk down that dirt road that leads to the woods. They then put a report in the newspaper. It was discovered how haunted the house was. The house was knocked down the following spring. Nobody walked to the bayou again.